hi guys welcome back it's been a long while since i sat down and did one of these talking vlogs right now today i'm gonna be doing a this versus that and the this versus that will be the first of a mini series that i'm gonna test out and today i'm gonna be talking about royal tan versus ocean coral spring i've seen all of the comments under those two vlogs i get it and i decided to do a comparison and answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking underneath the comments and just clear up some things and go kind of in depth with some of the other stuff right so i'm going to be talking about a little of everything the property the rooms the food the entertainment the pool the customer service all of those stuff that we actually go to the hotel for right i'm going to go in depth into it again guys thank you for your support thus far i'm at 1.5k subscribers you know we're trying to go a little bit higher right so share this video like this video comment on the video and as always thank you so much for your support thus far and turn on post notifications right now before i get into it as always for those who don't know right my makeup is always done by my beautiful sister um follow her at st beauty box so let me do a little pause check me out all right you see that you see that right check her out at st beauty box on ig all right guys now going straight into it the beginning right from the beginning um starting with royal town pulling up i stayed at royal town blue waters which is in trelawney guys it's not in montego bay i know when you go there it's gonna say montego bay it's in trelawney both of these hotels are in trelawney and actually quite close to each other at least five minutes in terms of driving so let me just start right there right so pulling up um over by Royal and Blue Waters was full, so I had to park over White Sand, which was a long walk from White Sands to Blue Water. Both of those properties are adjacent to each other as well, right? The lobby area, nice, big, spacious, and the lobby area also, most lobby areas have a little bar that you can go and get drinks. Now, with Royal Tan, when we got there, they had messed up our room numbers um but the manager that was there tried his very best to you know kind of help us out and kind of help us to forgive him and so forth so we had a lot of complimentary drinks that were given to us which we didn't mind um but the walk between white sands and blue waters is kind of a long long walk now ocean coral spring pulling up the parking area adequate parking to a certain degree depending on how many people are there but we never really have actually no when i went the parking lot was kind of full so i had to kind of park you know when you have to park a car up on the side of the curb i had to do that um but it was relatively safe you know in terms of other cars being able to pass and you enter the lobby area nice big lobby area nice bar um again the checking in process at ocean coral spring was good however some of the guys that we were there with right it took them a long time for them to get the room so I don't know if the turnover or if they had overbooked or whatever, but that was that was like a you know for Ocean Coral Spring. Um, but what I did love about Ocean Coral Spring is as you walk into the lobby area, as you go across, you see the nice, beautiful area like the glass doors, and you see the the centerpiece with the fountain. And what Ocean Coral Spring has over Royalton is that the property is easy to understand. When you go through those glass doors and you see the little fountain thing, there's building one, there's building two. That's it. So you're either on building one or you're on building two. As opposed to Royal Town now, they have like four different building things. And I don't know, I kept getting confused. It does I was there for the entire weekend and I could not get my bearings straight to know where I was from, where I wasn't. So it was a bit confusing. Anyways, going into the room. So the room, standard room, time, you know, so with Royal Tan, the room is, it doesn't really separate the bathroom from the bed. There, however, there's a curtain there. And because the curtain is there and the bathroom or the bathtub is kind of in the open area adjacent to the bed, it kind of gives the room a bigger feel. You get me? So the room feels, feels bigger. And Royal Tan has a double rainfall ceiling show ahead, which I loved. I love the double and big like the, sh the show ahead was big um as opposed to ocean chorus Spring that just had a single um um rainfall show ahead ocean chorus spring now where um i think the rooms were smaller you know 
um the shower the bathtub wasn't as nice and the shower wasn't as nice as royalton i personally prefer the bathroom at royalton over ocean coral spring but that's my preference and i know this video is going kind of fast kind of, to show the room but guys you can check out the individual vlogs that i did for each one of these hotels i did one for ocean coral spring and there's a part one and part two for royal Thunder okay Water. now the swim up rooms right so the swim up room on my ocean coral spring you see all them position is when you're out there the sun at the the sun at me not as rest in no position so the building kind of get like a shade and we did out there we did out there with the umbrella because the sun did that but we're not gonna forget in the tan and them look at something and then you know, the oh the swim up pools at Ralston. No, I never stayed in one, but you could easily walk past and see them. And she said, "No, so never over there." So again, I just, like I said, I'm going into the nitty gritty of everything. So if that matters to you, then maybe that can help you make your decision. Okay, another thing to talk about that I kind of skipped over. The elevator. The elevator at Ocean Coral Spring is very small, right? It's very small. And, you know, I did the video and I commented on it and somebody was just like, oh, you're commenting on this. So that in Italy, the, the, the elevators are just that small. I don't really care. We're not in Italy, right? If you have a hotel that you're going to have suitcases and multiple people are even you feel it on the fourth floor, you need a decent size elevator. It's quite small. So when the lobby guy push in the thing that you put your suitcase on into the elevator there's no space for anybody else it's very small worse if you have somebody like what in a wheelchair and all of them something there so yeah i'm, I'm even going in so in depth where i'm talking about the elevator size it's so small so a royal Tan elevator is a bit bigger right decent even had the social distancing thing on the floor ocean coral spring could never have that because at the end of the day you know big enough for anybody social distance in right no royal town when we went our fridge was empty it was on e right it was there was nothing in it not look water no look no but ocean coral spring we were fully stocked and they had the sanitary seal so we were the first one to break that seal we had bears water and all of that and all of that was included in the cost so ocean coral spring have that over Royal Tan. Now, <laughs> with Ocean Coral Spring, the bed. Let's talk about the bed. Um, I don't know. It's a relatively new hotel. I think they were established in 2019. Or yeah, the opening in 2019 at Royal Tan was a little bit before that. You know, Royal Tan was initially Starfish. Um, that's the name of it. Yes, I think it was Starfish. Anyways, the bed. It's kind of tough, right? I don't know if I cause, we know, you know, it just new. So you know, I have no time for break in, but it's not as soft or as comfortable as Royal Tan. So, but again, none of these beds does not beat secrets, but we're not talking about secrets today. But you guys can check out that review that I did on secrets as well. Now, yeah, so if you're looking for a nice, comfortable sleep, you know, you, you know, you have a back problem and the mattress matter to you how the mattress feel, then Royal Tan is your pick. All right, yeah, and the view. So the view, obviously the view is gonna depend on which room you have. So I can't even really comment on the view in terms of which one is better. But um, when I was there, both of the views were a very good, very nice view. A little mixture between a garden view and a pool view. And that was, that was okay for me, right? But I must say you're guaranteed to have a pool view and a garden view with how um the build how the buildings are for ocean coral spring because the buildings literally enclose the pool area right now that i think that's pretty much it for that the lobby area and the room and all that all that i'm gonna comment on for the room if anything else i'll just say it later on no so ocean coral spring kind of sometimes feel as if though even not just from what I saw, but from other people comments and other people who have been there, like a like a Oremek, um hotel, you know, sometimes you look at the outline with the socket there, you can't see it punching or like, you know, it just you 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 if you look good and I'm not trying to be that person that nitpicks or whatever, but it's just in my DNA and based on how I was raised, um, in terms of like those little details, like I really see those little details. Um, when we were there, 
we my we, i was in a dub room and my friend had a swim out room and we're in the swim out area the swim out pool swim out room sorry in, in the pool and stuff and we're chilling and there was water falling you know rain wasn't falling but water was falling off of the balcony of one of the rooms and i just like what's going on up here the water was just leaking and it, it never did that stuff and i'm just like what well, no what really i keep out here so but apparently on the third floor is where they have the jacuzzis and I don't know, one of the jacuzzi must have did uh, full up and not overflow. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. I don't know if somebody left it. I don't know. Right? So, little stuff like no. that. The food. I know we all go to the hotels, you know, we're going to look at the food and we want to know which place have nice food and all them. So, so let me start with the room service since I kind of went on uh, about the rooms. Now, you know, these hotels that always have the time period between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then when you have to reach this and that time, and all of that. So, room service. Room service at Royalton was just one time. So, you're there for the entire weekend, you get one room service per room. That's it. Just one. I don't think there was a time limit, but you get one and one alone. Now, for Ocean Cora Spring, the room service now, you could order as many times as you wanted, but it was from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., which I was fine with. I was fine with that. That's way better. So you will come, if you come to Friday, you can order it. The Saturday, the Sunday, you can order it. So room service was very good, and they had a wide variety for room service. Um, in terms of the timing of the delivery of the room service was touch and go for both of them but again that depends on how many people are actually ordering room service and stuff like that so yeah that's room service it's it's included in the cost as well right. now i just find for hotels in general just go to the buffet no matter with the restaurants and all of them something there that at least in my experience but Everybody experience is different. And if you want to go to the restaurants, then definitely go to the restaurants. But I prefer to just go to the buffet, especially for breakfast. Um, nine out of 10 times, breakfast is the, buffet is the only option for breakfast anyways. So just go to the breakfast. The breakfast at Royal Town, right? They had, their Jamaican station was very good. Yeah, I can't really complain about breakfast for any of the, the two hotels. They had a wide variety, but I can say what I can say is that for Ocean Cora Spring, it was packed. It was packed. Like, it, it was at wait to get in and then inside to go to the different areas. It was it was out, it was another wait. But it wasn't like a situation where they ran out of food. So, like, you literally see the staff come in with more food. Like, they might rush and stuff because I don't know. I don't. The weekend at all, it wasn't no special weekend. It wasn't no holiday weekend. It wasn't no anything like that. Because I, I don't tend to go to the hotels during that time. Or summer. Me not going to the hotel during summer. Because it's going to be packed. But uh, Ocean Korea Spring is a, like a new, it's an up and coming, very popular um, hotel. So I don't know. Maybe that's why. And what I do love about that hotel is that most of the locals were there. I can't I can proudly say that most of the locals were there. Um... So breakfast, just go to the buffet, go to the buffet, lunch. So the different restaurants, for Royal Town, they have an Italian restaurant. They have the, I think the, the Chinese or Japanese restaurant. I can't remember the name, forgive me. Um, and at least four different restaurants that were there and a buffet area. Now, when we went in December, not all of these restaurants were open, right? And I, I was hoping that there would be, you know, it was Christmas time. So I'm thinking, you know, more more tourists might come down for Christmas. So they will have the one. No, it wasn't. Um, the one where them did the wooly pa chopping and the, the Chinese food in front of you, that wasn't open at all. And we went to the restaurant that was open. We had to wait to go there because, you know, some of these restaurants you have to make reservation and depending on when you get there you just find out when you go to the hotel just find out which one of the restaurants you want to make reservation for and make the reservation as early as possible but all in all the, the restaurant but what they served most for dinner was no it was the appetizer was more than the main course the main course was pretty much I think we ordered like fettuccine and what did we order yeah i can't even remember and we ordered pork sliders and the appetizer like i said was way more than the dinner um we literally got shredded lettuce with a piece of tomato you know i can't understand what it is with these hotels with a piece of tomato it's not even it doesn't even look like proper garnish 
It's yeah. Good. So that was one restaurant I went to. The Zen one wasn't open. The Japanese one wasn't open. And I'm still talking about Royalton. No, the Italian restaurant was open, but again, the line. It was a long line to reach to the restaurant. And I just couldn't bother with the long line. You get me? I couldn't bother with the long line. So we just went back to the buffet. We just stuck with the buffet and the buffet was good. You know, a wide variety. Food wasn't bad. We never get a running belly or anything like that. So we just stuck with the buffet. Um, so now Ocean Coral Spring <sighs> for lunch and dinner. The restaurants. There's Red Snapper for lunch. There is Route 66. Um, and there are two other restaurants. Can't remember the name. No, I never went to lunch for Red Snapper at Red Snapper, but we did go there for dinner. No, don't. That's all I can say. Don't. We even made a reservation for that. Don't. It doesn't make any sense. The food wasn't good. The serving size wasn't good. I, I don't. I don't even think we came late because our reservation was seven p.m. and we reached at seven. I don't know if they were tired. Again, there was like a piece of tomato with. I mean, it was a no for me. You know, it was as we all went to the buffet afterwards. Now, Sakura. Sakura is the name of the restaurant at Ocean Cora Spring, which is popular where them do the, they make the food in front of it with the Japanese style thing and whatever. That restaurant, right? That restaurant, you have to make a reservation. One, two, they're not open on every day. So when we got there the Saturday, it was open on the Saturday, but the Sunday and the Monday it was closed. And the Saturday when it was open, it was booked out. So when you reach there at the hotel, and if you know you want to go to Sakura, as you reach at the hotel and you put on your foot and you're there at the lobby area, talk to the lady, just be like, Miss, can you make a reservation for Sakura for me, please? Because I really want to try and dine here and see how it is. And you can come and tell me, Amanda, how it was, because I never got the chance to do that. But Route 66, Route 66 offered a wide variety. It was kind of like a barbecue style, ribs, burgers, and it was good. It was good. So you can go to Route 66 and Route 66. I right, so here what I suggest. If you're going to the hotel for food, again, I'm talking about Ocean Coral Spring. If your aim is to go to the hotel to try different food and stuff, as you reach the hotel, book the Sakura, right? You can book for the same night, Friday night, or whenever you reach, book it. Highly unlikely that you get it, but or book it for the Saturday if they're there, because you know they're not open every day but i figure such a day would be a day they're open right then if you can't do that you can go to the other restaurants and try the other restaurants as you see fit red snapper is a place for lunch so just go to red snapper for lunch nobody waste none of your dinner time i'll go to red snapper don't wait right just go there for lunch because it won't for lunch right and for dinner if you never get sakura try one of the other restaurants but don't try route 66 yet hear why see route 66 Route 66 open to 11 p.m. So now, if you go one of the other restaurants and it was, then you have the option to go to Route 66, which is open till 11 p.m. So, see me again on all of the ins and outs. Nobody never did ever give me all of the ins and outs. So the way then, you try the different, different restaurants them, and your taste bud can, you know, have a taste of everything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like it, you go to the buffet. Simple. That's 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 my advice. That's my advice. Um, again, the buffet for Ocean Coral Spring was good. It was actually great. I never had a problem with anything that I got there. But you see me, me a person where once it sees good, me eat it. So you know, they even had sushi. They had even for breakfast. They had porridge. They had a wide variety of different stuff. Guys. Check out the single the, the vlogs that I did for Ocean Coral Spring and for Royal Town. You know, you can kind of have a idea of how my my day to day was at the <laughs> at the hotel, right? So that's food. Another thing that I mentioned, I'm gonna mention for the food, right? Now we all like dessert, right? So Ocean Coral Spring has an ice cream area which is right in the middle of everything. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's right in the, in the center of where everything is. Um, so I love mango. Anytime there's mango flavor, anything, I'm going to go and get it. And um, yeah, so it is just, it, it, it actually really tastes like Alaska. You know, not even like a good Alaska. I don't know. It just tastes powdery. It never tastes nice. 
I mean, it's no baby love twist at Tower Island St. Mary. By the way, guys, baby love twist is a dairy free ice cream that's located in Tower Isle, St. Mary. It's not too far from the border of St. Anna and St. Mary. So if you're gonna like blue oil and something and feel like an ice cream, go over there, go to, trust me. You. And it's cheap, cheapish, in my opinion. But I digress. Now, the ice cream, never too hot. Never too hot at all. And then now, Royalton have a gelato area, you know, fancy. That never at either. <laughs> That never had either, so none of them. But give the two of them three out of ten when it comes to the ice cream gelato thing. No. Right. All right, guys, like the video, share the video, comment below, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, remember to turn on post notification. Watch the video to the end. Watch the ads, guys. If you see the look at ads pop up, me know them are nine and I want to skip them and be entertaining and stuff. So you just want to see back my face again. But watch at least ten to fifteen seconds of the ads for me, please. Just watch a little bit of the ads and. Watch it full as well. Alright, so now we're gonna talk about entertainment. Now, we all come out of the hotel for Palala, right? We go there for enjoy ourselves, kick back, relax, and sometimes we want to engage with other people and have fun and dance. And especially like oh um most honorable broker back back down the place. Prefer go party inside and go to the local hotel to find them something there. But entertainment, that's the day. Um so both of them have nice big pretty pool and each hotel i think in general is gonna have the hype team is what i call them at ocean chorus when they're called the blue team um and i think for them for both of them they did the part they did what they were supposed to do. the dj at both of them were good um royalty and dj however i would i would give him the yeah yeah definitely the royal i definitely enjoyed myself at um the saturday um at Royalton with the DJ that was there at the, the pool party that they had because each one of these hotels is gonna have a pool party. Part maybe because part of that was tipsy because they're very generous with the alcohol. However, I will say at Royalton, then on a shot glass, them them run out a cup. Or whatever. So bring your own look a cup. You know, if you ever want a cup with any of the way you want to drink or say you want to go to the bar and refill it every minute. Plus that that cleaner. You know, you're not fair worry about if they wash the cup and the glass, them good. Bring your own cup. Um, but yeah, they the generous with the alcohol and they, they had a good um, variety, you know. And yeah, the entertainment, the pool party was very nice. I did enjoy myself <laughs> at the pool party. My friends that I went to the hotel, they enjoyed themselves at the pool party. The pool party at Ocean Cora Spring, it did a one, you know, it did a one. You know, the DJ did good and everything. And, and I would still, the Royal Time pool party was better for me. Now, the beach. Since we just done talk about the pool, we talk about the beach. I not like to, so I did just go Royal Town and we did see the beach. And I saw, I was just like, this beach, I really, you know, really stay nice. But you see, for me, anytime I think about beach, I think about Doctor's Cave. I mean, I remember say these hotel beaches aren't like natural beaches. Most of them are beach where they will get sun from somewhere else and dump it up and thing. Um, but all in all, after going to Ocean Chorus Spring and other hotels, Royal Town, your beach is very nice compared to the rest. Your beach is very nice compared to the rest because you actually have some sun. And all of my when I was there, the grooms, the man, the groundskeeper was there. He was raking the sun, and you have an actual beach where you can walk out into. You know, the waves are kind of rough when I was there, but yeah your beach is way better than ocean korea spring so if you had choose one hotel based on the beach alone don't choose ocean korea spring don't choose it now if you had the type you just sit on the chair and kick back and look up on the water then that not gonna matter to you about ocean korea spring and you see me i'm on, i'm not biased i'm not getting paid to do this i'm just giving you guys the information because i find that if you have some top vloggers and them get paid for go somewhere and them now gonna show you the you know the, the bad things or whatever bad things so to be but at the end of the day the beach one fix i don't know the beach one fix work on it right be a rock stone i a not be a rock stone and then they have a hammock that's out in the middle and it's so nice the hammock is so nice but you just have to be careful when you're going out there because even the areas where there weren't any rock stone right there was sea urchins right 
there were a fairly good amount. I was looking now, there's a fairly good amount you can see because the water is clear. There's a fairly good amount of sea urchins. So you have to be careful when you're making your way out to the hammock. But they do have the hammock, which Royal Tan did they have, and that hammock was everything to me because, see me, you know, me and somebody will go every far and go all of them places and them something there. So, I don't know if you skip across the rock and them thing there, but, and everybody, I come out, um, the hotel them to do all of that. So, if you're looking for, if you're looking at beaches, Royal Tan versus Ocean Coral Spring, Royal Tan definitely, De Royal Tan definitely wins that by far. By far, right? daytime entertainment now these two places have slides and you'll be like why are you talking about the slides i don't care um it's a family resort both of them and they have the slides now the ocean coral spring slide is for the kids they have a kiddies area around the back and it that kiddies area is actually kind of separate from the main pool area and they even have like another food station that have nachos hot dogs all those are the stuff that the kids will want to eat um but they only have a slide for the kiddies like i don't understand <laughs> why is it there one for the adults but royal Tan has both they have a big slide one for the adults small side for the kids and i did enjoy the slide and i went again and i went again the slides sorry the pool parties but both have slides both have pool parties but in terms of other daytime activities royal Tan don't really have it like that ocean coral spring does they have the bull riding that is from I think it's seven, seven to nine, or is it five to seven? I think it's five to seven. I don't know. Can't remember the exact time. Either five to seven or seven to nine. You know, who doesn't love that? Like, even just to watch it, and that's kid friendly as well. The kids can do it, the adults can do it. So, they have the bull riding, you know. And then for, and they also have bowling. And this is all included. So, if you do the all inclusive, you don't have to pay to go bowling. All you have to do is make your reservation. Again, when you go there, if you want to try everything out upon a mission, or if you want to plan your itinerary beforehand and say, this is the time we're going to go bowling, you go and try to get the bowling done. I feel like 5 p.m. is a good time to go bowling um, on a Sunday, if you're there on a Sunday. That's the time when we went and it was empty. Or even 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't think anybody wants to go bowling 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it will, more than likely it would be available. Again, if you can, just go there and ask them what time they have. So, Ocean Coral Spring has bowling and they have the bull riding. So, that's like daytime activities. Um, Royalton, that's just the pool party. They have the pool party, they have volleyball. Ocean Coral Spring have volleyball too, but well, that, that net never really, it never really looks safe for go over there to go play. So, Royalton have the volleyball lock over Ocean Coral Spring. Daytime entertainment, Ocean Coral Spring. Now, the night, nighttime entertainment, the club, the party, and all of that. So, the DJ at Ocean Coral Spring goes up to 1 a.m. Now, when we go to Royal Town, then I know DJ, we never see none of that. We did see the African dancing. You know, so when you go to the hotel, if I want to, you definitely can bank on some form of African dancing, some form of Fiat Michael Jackson performance. I don't even know why we have that. I never go to the hotel and see a fake Bob Marley performance yet. Or maybe the hotel where I go. Anyways, or you're going to have the acrobatics with them uh, or the flame thrower. You know, I put the flame up just to put it in the mouth and all of that. But, Relton had the African dancers. Um, never saw that at um, Ocean Chorus Spring. But to be honest, they do have a theater where they do different stuff in terms of singing, whether opera singing or Michael Jackson, or maybe even the African dance, but I just never went because I never want to see none of that. Um, but the club part of it, or the party in the night, goes up to 1 a.m. And the DJ was good, you know? The DJ was good. And a lot of people were dancing and enjoying themselves, and they were dancing, the social distancing was there. And yeah, the DJ did this thing. Royal Town, like I said, when I went there, we never have the club vibe. We never had it. But I, when I was there, it wasn't it? But I know they do have it. You get what I said? Just like when I was there, the restaurant where they did the, the food in front there wasn't open. But I know recently it's open. But yeah, entertainment for me, based on my stay, I would have given it to Ocean Coral Spring in terms of nighttime entertainment. Um, but the pool party, 
in terms of the pool party that was there in the afternoon, I would give that to Royalton. So the entertainment is kind of, you know, kind of similar for both. However, Ocean Chorus Spring has more daytime activities. So all in all, Ocean Chorus Spring wins entertainment um, compared to Royalton. Another stuff that I forgot to mention. Who um the gym? So the gym at the gym at Boston are pretty good. But the gym at Ocean Chorus Spring is new because it's a newer hotel, so it's a nice gym and it's free of charge to access both gyms at both hotels. Um, the spa area, I went to the spa at Royal Town that is not included, that's not all inclusive. I did go to the spa and it was nice. I never went to the spa at Ocean Chorus Spring, so I can't properly compare it, but they both have a spa. <sighs> Food! How could I forget? You guys love to come to Jamaica and get some jerk chicken. So each one of these hotels have a jerk hut. And when I went to the jerk hut at Royalton, chicken did finish. We never really get to try it. Um, piece of bread me did get. So I can't really 100% comment on it. Because when I got it, it was done. Every time I went around there, it was finished. But hey, life might have finished so quick. Maybe it, 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 maybe it have a buzz. Maybe it have a buzz. Ocean Chorus Spring jerk hut. The chicken was good. I never mind it. It was a little bit spicy, but I don't like spicy. But if you like spicy, then yeah. So, each one I never have the jerk out. The staff. The staff at Ocean Coral Spring was very nice. You know, you could easily talk to them, joke with them, have, have a good time. Um, we even borrowed one of the guys' bicycle because after a while I got tired of walking to and fro from the bar. <laughs> Oh, no, um, where I look a bicycle and go back and forth as we feel like so yeah that <laughs> that was that was that was fun um also you guys making us some brilliant idea you know, and I forgot remember said me and to get them from you guys should have I know we have shuttles or they have the golf carts that goes point A to point B, but you know, can't always get a golf cart so I mean if you can rent out the bicycle to some of the people them from the property Come on, I think we'd rent a little bicycle for the weekend if we did the arrival time. Because the one bugger walking, it. Or maybe that's just a recipe for disaster, I don't know. But, anyways, the staff at Royal Town, they've never really stood out to me, you know. They're, they're, we can't really remember. I wanted the manager, he was, he was decent. We had a one bartender that did. <laughs> was a true Jamaican. It was funny. Um, but they never really stand out to me, stood out to me like that. So, all right, guys. So I think that's pretty much it. That's all I have to comment on. Um, I hope these clips that I included it was helpful. I hope the information will help you to make a better decision on which hotel you'd want to go to. If you like this video and if you're thinking of going to a hotel with some friends or some family members, share the, share this video with them, right? Like this video, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe, right? <laughs> subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, like this video, share this video, comment below. The next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a get to know me video. Apparently that's a thing now, so <laughs> you guys can comment below whatever questions you want me to answer. And I'll answer them as I see fit. Also, as I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a this versus that series. Um, this will be the first one. The other, I'm going to come talk about Harmony, the new park right in Montego Bay. Harmony Beach Park versus Doctor's Cave. Right? Just to do a comparison between both. And this versus that, I am going to talk about food. Right or different restaurants in Montego Bay. So, Pier 1, Belfield, Marina Palm. So, you guys can definitely subscribe, turn on post notifications, look out for those videos as well. And remember to comment below whatever questions you want me to answer for my Get to Know Me vlog that I'm going to do in the future. Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, you know you're a true MVP already. And I hope these, I hope this video helped in your decision between which hotel you want to go parallel at. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.